Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fantastic zucchini bread that is light and moist and flavored with so many great spices. It's also a great thing to tuck into the lunchbox. So moms, if you're looking for some other snacks to serve your kids, this is a great one. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add three eggs. And then we're gonna add my little secret ingredient that I like to put into zucchini bread, a half a cup of pure pureed pumpkin. I really love to add the pumpkin because it gives it a nice richness that you don't traditionally find with zucchini bread. Just make sure it's pure pumpkin puree and not pumpkin pie mix because that's something else that has a lot of sugar and spices already in it and we're gonna add our own so you can really control it that way. Then we're gonna add three quarters cup of sugar, half a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil or even grapeseed oil would work, and a quarter cup of water and one teaspoon of vanilla. So you can go ahead and mix that all together until everything is nice and combined. And then you can set that aside. And then in a smaller bowl, we're gonna mix together all of our dry ingredients. So you're gonna take two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna add our spices. Now this to me is what takes a zucchini bread from good to great, because you really wanna make sure you have a lot of these warming spices because that is what makes it so flavorful. And here's the mixture I like best. You're gonna take a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. And you're gonna whisk that all together until everything is nice and combined. Then you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients just in thirds, making sure it's nicely mixed. And then at this stage, we are going to add our zucchini. So you're gonna take just a regular grater and grate probably about one to two zucchinis, depending on the size of your zucchini. Once you end up with a cup and a half, you wanna transfer it out onto some paper towel and just blot it dry because zucchini as a vegetable has a lot of moisture in it and you do wanna make sure that you get rid of some of that just because it'll help bake into your bread a bit better. And then to that, you're gonna add a quarter cup of dark raisins and a quarter cup of golden raisins. And for the raisin hating club, and I know that there are some strong members, you don't have to use raisins at all, but you would wanna maybe have some type of fruit in there. So maybe you could use some diced pineapple or maybe some shredded coconut, that would be good too. And then lastly, I like to add half a cup of roughly chopped walnuts, just for a little bit of crunch. Then you wanna mix this batter all together, being careful that you don't overmix because you don't wanna end up with a tough bread. And then you are going to transfer the batter into a nine by five loaf pan that has been sprayed with some baking spray. And then you're going to put it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 55 minutes to an hour. Allow it to cool and then you can slice it into some thick slices, serve it with a cup of tea or coffee. It's also great for breakfast the next day. So there you have it, my ultimate zucchini bread. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. I think you will find it is a recipe you will turn to time and time again, especially this time of year when zucchini are at their best. All right, I will see you back here next time for another easy and delicious recipe. Until then, bye.